one of the disadvantages of living in the township is the noise anyway hi everyone i hope you are doing well thank you for clicking on to my video and the purpose of me doing these videos is that someone maybe out there might see it and then learn a thing or two or find it informative um educational in some way or another and relatable um i hope you are doing well i hope everyone's taking care of themselves um yeah <laughs> whether in, you're in school or you're unemployed you're looking for work i just hope that you're taking care of your mental health and you are just looking after yourself overall anyway uh I'm doing this video because a lot of people like friends family always ask me what did you study and I say biotechnology and they say what's that <laughs> and it's sometimes hard to explain it but I'm doing this video and I hope I'll be able to explain it as best as I can and yeah this is from my experience I mean it may differ from person to person so yeah anyway I wrote, uh, uh, I took some notes because, you know, I don't want to mess things up. So I just wrote a few things down in my little journal, cute little journal. Anyway, so I saw on a YouTube video, this is how they defined biotechnology. They said it is the application of biological knowledge to the development of products processes that can improve uh, various aspects of life such as health food supply environment and general well-being so in other words basically biotechnology is using science which is bio and technology to make our lives <laughs> better you know i guess yeah so my my um microbiology lecturer used to say biotechnology is taking rubbish and making it <laughs> something useful you know using science and technology i guess so anyway uh i'm tandolwetu sorry if i didn't mention i am from the university of biotech the university of johannesburg um yes so i studied biotechnology uh for four years so biotechnology at uj it may differ from university to university uh, i did it for four years it was a national diploma first three years are your theoretical work uh, so your normal school work going to class including practicals so from the get-go from first year you are going to be doing practicals from first year you are going to be in the lab doing practicals, experiments, and writing lab reports afterwards. So biotechnology is a very uh, practical course. There's a lot of practical work that goes into it. So for the first three years, there's that theoret theoretical part and then practical in the lab. And then the fourth year is in-service training. So you go to a company for 12 years, for 12 months, sorry, <laughs> 12 months, which is one year. And then you work for the company to get uh, work integrated learning exposure. So, yeah, I think this is an advantage for me personally. I feel like it's an advantage because unlike most courses where you will learn for the first three four years and then get your degree and then when you graduate you go out there you don't have any um experience or any industry knowledge so that's an advantage in that sense because yeah there's the work integrated learning so you do that uh for three years and then the fourth year you do your your in-service training and then you graduate then when you graduate, you have a, a national diploma, but at least you have one year experience in uh, in a company that's related to biotechnology. Okay, and then, okay, so a little 
background yana on how i ended up in biotechnology i really didn't even know what biotechnology was when i was in matric grade 11 when we were applying for university i didn't know what biotechnology was so for me my marks weren't so good so i always knew i wanted to do something sciencey something in science I, I didn't know what I didn't want to do like medicine or things like that because my marks weren't that good but I knew I wanted to be in science so I guess biotechnology was the second best thing to do and I mean at that time I didn't really know what I was doing I was just like you know what I just want to be in school I want to learn and then this is when I really how this thing works out you know we'll see so I did uh, so I applied and also another thing that helped or how I ended up is that my APS score was low enough for me to be able to, to, to qualify. So I think it was an APS of 21, APS score of 21. So yeah, so I applied for biotechnology and I got there. And then you see when you read the prospectus about the the course and then you Google it, nowhere did it say there's going to be maths. So I thought I was running away from maths because I hated maths in high school. Ganti, ha! I got maths when I was there. But anyway, I made it through by the grace of God. It was hard. You think ah, it's just... A national diploma and the APS score is low. I'm going to make it. Mm, don't fool yourself. It's it's a lot of work, but I'm just saying if you're in high school and maybe your marks aren't that great, like they're not 60s, 70s, 80s, but you know you want to do something in science or something sciency, then maybe you should consider biotechnology as an option. Uh, but do your research before. Don't be like me and just <laughs> go in blindly. But um, do some research. But yeah, that's how I ended up in biotechnology. And then, uh, so if you're in high school, okay, and you are considering it, these are the subjects that you need physical science life sciences mathematics it would be an advantage if you also have computer because there's also computer there but if you don't you're not doing computer then that's fine the main thing is physical science life science and mathematics okay uh like i said aps at that time the aps score was 21 i don't know if they increased it and as but somewhere around about that it's not very crazy okay uh entrance marks so try to have at least 50 percent for all your subjects 50 percent for maths for physics for uh life sciences try to have at least 50 percent for all your subjects okay Thank you. 50%. I mean, I know it's a lot because, hey, I know grade 11 and grade 12. But just at least if you have that, maybe, you know, you're on the safe side. Anyway, so the modules that you would do. And then, so these ones are the, like the, the majors, the, hmm, there's also more, but I didn't add them to this list. But these ones are the main focus of biotechnology microbiology so in microbiology there's microbial biochemistry and food microbiology there's chemistry and the chemistry there's analytical chemistry there's biochemistry and there's analytical biochemistry and then we also have mathematics and statistics but those you only do uh, for the first two years and then there's also computer, like I mentioned, but that's only in first year. And then there's fermentation and bioprocessing. And then disease and immune response. I've noticed in some universities like UNISA and TUT, I think, they, in, instead of doing disease and immune response, they do genetics. But I know uh, also at UJ, I think they slowly introducing genetics as well. I will my hair. Okay, anyway, so 
careers in biotechnology okay so if you do biotechnology you are going to be working in the lab your the lab is your best friend laboratory work is what it is so if you enjoy laboratory work you could consider a career in biotechnology <clears throat> so uh careers in biotechnology so you can work in a laboratory you can work in a microbiology laboratory or a pharmaceutical laboratory so you can be testing um microorganisms in food products microorganisms in pharmaceutical products like lotions hand creams hand sanitizers um in tablets maybe you know so there's that uh you can also be in quality control or quality assurance so you can work in the food industry where you testing for the quality and the safety of the food that we eat so you can work in these big companies that manufacture food and you can be testing for food you can be testing if the food is safe enough for consumers to eat if it's of high quality if it's not going to make people sick you can be in that industry you can be in production so you can be in production of food like i mentioned or production of pharmaceuticals so you can work in a company that manufactures food or you can ma work in a company that manufactures lotions and hand creams and all of that and test for those products or you can be in research so you can work in one of these companies that i mentioned but in the r d department so the research and development department so you are going to be one of those people if a company wants to produce a new product or a new flavor of a product you are going to be the go-to person who does the research and what needs to happen in order for us to develop this new flavor or this product that's what you're going to be doing uh or you can work in universities in the research department so i know at uj they've got a research department for biotechnology where you research different things um yeah yeah <laughs> you can also be in the chemical industry so you can work for a chemical company a company that produces chemicals you can work in the lab to test these chemicals to test the acids the bases um all of that so if you're interested in chemistry you could also consider that or agriculture this one i don't know much about but i know that you can work in the agricultural field to test work with like animals plants uh the growth of plants using plants to make medicines or things like that so yeah in essence uh biotechnology is a very broad field and i feel like it's that's an advantage because you get people who did biotechnology but are in different industries so there's there's options in biotechnology so maybe consider that if you're not sure which career field to go on and but you know you want to do something sciencey you can try that out but do your research first and yeah i hope you stay well and i hope this video was informative in some way or another and stay blessed god bless you and yeah <laughs> bye